All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the links of YouTube with, with whoever you wish. Uh, today, our topic we continue speaking about what it's called the miracle of the Quran. Every day, we see a new video, a new title about the mind blowing scientific miracle in Quran. So, today, I have an offer for the Muslims, and the offer is very simple. I have a website in the front of me in the screen. And this website contain all what it's called miracles of the Quran. Who is the Muslim who have the courage to call us and prove to us that any of those of his choice is a true scientific miracle? You see, I'm not going to ask you which one you like to pick up for us. You pick up for us the one you wish. Which one you like? My Skype is open. Or what you need to do, you just call me right now and you say, Okay, <clears throat> I want you to go to this miracle. And you tell me about it. And we will see, all of us, if this is a true miracle or it's a scam. My accusation to those who fabricated those things that they are proving to us again that Islam cannot be from the true God for if Muslims they follow the true God they will not lie to prove their God to be exist why somebody he is following a God supposedly who teaching him ethic and morality he will fabricate lies in order to prove to us the God of ethic and morality and that exactly what we speak of that Islam is religion have or let us say uh, 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 ethic free religion uh, I will give the Muslims some time to think about which miracle they can pick up for me so either we will laugh at this Quran or people will laugh at me I don't mind I don't mind because there is one there is one person here is lying the one who came with those fabrication claiming that the Quran have a miracle or me maybe I'm lying to people here about uh, Quran does not have miracles so here we go you know we don't do what the Muslims do like the, the Dean show they say call us if you have any questions and when we call them and I have it recorded they don't let me go through we don't do what the Muslims do you will see the guy in the Dean show Yusuf state he receive a phone call in his cell phone have you ever heard of a TV have a cell phone phone calls and then he we don't even hear the ring so he opened the phone phone from the from from the cave time he flipped up the phone and he opened and he started saying uh-huh yes uh-huh okay uh-huh okay 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 we will answer your question but nobody's talking because they don't take phone phone calls uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I understand you. I understand you. This question simply it is his question. He wrote it down. Now he want to talk about it, but he want to make it as if it is coming from a caller, like he is not prepared for it. However, even the question which he is prepared for, when he answer it, it is a stupid. It's a crazy. It is a. It's coming from a person. He have no idea what he's talking about. We don't do what the Muslims do. <clears throat> So who is the Muslim wanna give me a call right now, right here, please? And by the way, we will speak to you in, in respect. We are not here to insult you as a person. Uh, you know, we are here to discuss if this is a true or not, if it's a fact or a fairy tales. As simple as that. See, I'm clicking at this uh, website. Look like uh, is it working? Uh huh. It's working. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the language? Is that? Uh oh. This is maybe Turkish. <clears throat> you know, by the way, one of you, he said to me, did you hear that Erdogan, he won the election? And he thought that this is a, a sad news. I say, no, this is very good news. Because the stupid, right now in Europe, we have a very stupid leaders. If Erdogan, he lost the election, uh, uh, those leaders, the leaders of Germany and France specifically, they will ease the way for Turkey to join European Union. 
and that will be a disaster so I'm so glad that Erdogan stay there and Erdogan he will bring the end of Islam in Turkey and you will see because when Turkey collapse under Erdogan is 1000 better than collapsing under someone he is from the left because he is the one who established the collapsing then you have a new president he take over and then suddenly the country collapse they will think it is him who made the country collapse this guy is going to destroy Islam in Turkey and you will see now we go back <clears throat> I hope not all the site here in Turkish okay this is the website of Harun here now Harun here by the way in case you do not know this is a guy who is the he is the one who started what it's called uh, Quran and miracles and he is the kind of a guy he bring a bunch of uh, blonde girls uh, prostitutes uh, and he hired them to dance for him in the TV in order to make Muslims watch his show he is the one who started uh, you know uh, this uh, propaganda about uh, Quran and uh, science Google <coughs> Sears in the Quran. Hmm. No problem, my friend. We want a Muslim to call us, and he chose which one. Whatever he wants, no, no problem. I do not need to Google anything. I know all the lies. I know all the lies. <coughs> all what we want, a Muslim to call us and say, okay, this is the miracle I want to talk about. Who want to do that? You know, when the Muslim they say uh, serious, uh, serious in the Quran, the serious, you know, th this is the one of the most funny things about Muslims. Uh, they have a prophet who claim that the stars are made to hit the devil in his ass if he try to leave the earth. And the stars are located in the lowest heaven which is the atmosphere the muslim they have a miracle it says the atmosphere of the earth so how the quran is speaking about this uh serious whatever a star what the quran is speaking about something totally different and you know always in order to to uh to understand what islam is about you need uh, uh you know like the, the muslims when you speak to them about the quran they say oh you are taking the text out of context that you know you are not you read the verse before it read the verse after it the quran is a book it's not only a verse so when a muslim he tried to prove to me a miracle from a verse shouldn't this verse fit with other verses because if Allah he understand anything about universe shouldn't he understand that the Sun does not sit in the murky water you know what I mean let us say for the sake of argument a Muslim he found something fit with science in the Quran but this is never exist in the Quran not even in a single page not even in a single line how God he understand that the Sun every day sit in a place and that the place is a hot boiling water any Muslim want to tell me here we go this is science too <clears throat> Allah speaking about a, a prophet of his own his name is Zul Qurnayn I'm not going to ask the Muslims who is Zul Qurnayn because Allah knows best as they say to you they don't know as usual this Quran is a shish kebab book Isa we do not know who is Isa Muhammad it's the Quran says Muhammad who is Muhammad we do not know who is Israel we do not know who is if who is Pharaoh but what, what Pharaoh Pharaoh is the name of a guy all the names of the Quran are unknown and we do not know what they mean Zul Qurnayn in Arabic Zul Qurnayn the man with the two horn have you ever heard of a man with a two horn yes I heard of him that is Alexander the Great so why you don't call him by his name because there is a guy here on wrote a, a story a fiction story 
about Alexander the Great, he called it Zulqarnain, the man with the two horns. Or let us say this is the street name of it, because he spoke about Zulqarnain, who wore uh, a hat, have two horn, uh, challenging his enemy, and the horn is weird for very simple reason because at that time, uh, you know, uh, most of people worship Baal, and Baal is the bull who is so good in sex and strong in fighting. So Zulqarnain is a prophet of Allah who was sent and sponsored by Allah in a mission. He went in a road, and he took the road which Allah He guided him and inspire him to take. And then until he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. I mean, how stupid this story is. This is a story coming from God. I mean, what, what does God now inform me about? I mean, what, what is that location? We, where we can find that location, Mr. Allah? Where the sun set in a murky water, the sun set everywhere. I do not need to go anywhere to find where the sun set. The sun set in my, my, my house where, I'm, where I live. <laughs> what sun? He found it. You see, he's not talking about the sun set only. No. He found where the sun set. The Muslim, they say to you, in order to get to escape this, this hilarious, stupid statement of Muhammad, they say, no, no, no. He is saying that Zul Qurnayn, he thought, he thought that the sun set in the murky. It doesn't say any. The one is talking first of all is Allah, not not Zulqarnain. Secondly, he is not saying he thought. He said he found it. And when you say he found it, you are reporting a fact. You are not reporting what he thought. Where is the word he thought? Can you show it to me? Where is the word he thought? So we have a guy, he took away. He keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, until, until what? Until he reached the place where the sun set. Well, nice to meet you. Where the sun set, Mr. Allah? Until, so he follow a road. Until, when he reached the sitting of the sun. A very impressive science. I mean, this science is, is kind of uh, very, uh, very nice. It's so good. So good to be true. If Allah cannot tell us how the sun set and where the sun goes, I mean, how in the world he can be God of science? This is, this is not hadith, so the Muslim, they will not say to us, this is weak and this is strong and, you know, the game they play. Well, obviously, your God, Allah, is weak. His vision is weak. Muhammad, he stole everything from everything, from everyone. You see, he stole from Enoch. He stole from... There, there, is, a, there is a fiction books of Enoch, yeah. But not only from... The, you know, Muhammad, he is a story collector. The Jews, they came to him. The Jews trapped him. The Jews always did trap Muhammad. That's why he hid them very much. They came to him. He said, okay, Abdul, tell us about Alexander the Great. Muhammad, he had no idea what to say now. And they made him believe that Alexander the Great is a prophet of God. So Muhammad, after they left home, he started collecting information, asking questions about who is Zulqarnayn. They asked him about Zulqarnayn. Tell us about Zulqarnayn. Because if you go, this is how the story started. If you go in the in the verse, just a few verses before, you will see. They ask thee, you see, they ask thee, okay, what they are asking thee? They are asking thee concerning Zulqarnayn. See, this is Allah is not voluntarily telling us about uh, about the Quran, and here about Zulqarnayn. And here we need to remember something. The Muslims they say that the Quran is written by Allah before the whole universal creation. Okay, but the, 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 the people, they just asked Muhammad about uh, <laughs> This was an answer for what is been asked. It cannot be written before, unless Allah is the one who made them ask the question, and that would be funny. So they are asking thee about Zulqarnayn. Okay, well, first of all, who is Zulqarnayn? Have you ever heard of a book, any book in the world? He said the guy with the two horn, 
what about we say in in 2000 from year now we say the man with the smartphone well at that time everybody have a two horn in his hat when they go to war what does that mean all the roman leaders they used to do that what what a man with a two horn is that a way to know the guy So the introduction of the person is very stupid. Can't you tell us even who is Zul Qurnayn, where he live? What language he speak? The guy with 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 iPhone X. Huh? What? What is that? Is he born with them? Maybe this guy is a whale. Uh, maybe he's, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of animal he is. Maybe he's a deer. The man with, it doesn't even say the word man. It says Zul Qurnayn. The, the the one with the two horn okay what is that is that an animal is that a human being is it a potato is it a tomato uh, is it an insect is it is it uh, is it those uh, little uh, tiny things like uh, they, they they go on the they scroll in the they creep in the ground and they have two horn coming from their head what is that what is that thing with the with the two horn and why the muslim they don't translate did you ask yourself why the muslims in their in their in their uh, translation they did not say uh, the man with the two horn why did it not say why they know why did not translate because this is a name they cannot translate it because supposedly now this is a name the idiot they think this is a name but this is not a name this is it says the the the, the, the one with the two horn in the middle east if somebody is a pimp which means he is using his wife for sex and money we call him a guy with two horn. Is that him? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Is that him? The Prophet of Allah, the Messenger of Allah, who Allah guide him to go and find where the sun set. This is what you know. You can ask anyone in the Middle East if a guy he he make his daughters or his wife do you know sex uh, sex business. We call him a man with the two horn. You know, you can ask any Arab guy. He installed a horn, you know, in his head. And now, after they ask about Zul Qurnayn, Allah, he now, he's a Wikipedia. Come on, Allah knows. Don't Allah knows best? So Allah now de decide to tell us. Okay, Muhammad, they are asking you about Zul Qurnayn. All right, all right. Sit down, kid. Okay, kids, sit down. Sit down. Say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. I'm so glad he did not tell us everything. Because Zul Qurnayn, as I know, he was a bisexual. We don't want to have more details, please. And here Allah, he you know, he explained to us who is Zul Qurnayn. Verily, we established his power on earth. Oh, this bisexual Alexander the Great, it was Allah who made him powerful. You see it? Who is the one who made Zul Qurnayn, which is meant by Alexander the Great, taking over the earth? It was Allah. Verily, we establish his power on earth. Okay, why Allah he established his power on earth? Why Allah he established a, a bisexual person, homo, a power in earth and to conquer the world? You tell me. 
and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends if 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 if, if you see how much allah is a blessing this guy this is the blessed alexander the great By the way, the Muslims, they say, oh, this is not Alexander the Great. This is a different person. Well, in your interpretation, it says he is the one who built the city of Alexandria. So now you tell me, who is the one who built the city of Alexandria? Let us remember, let us remember. Donald J. Trump, no. George Bush, no. Uh, Michael Jackson, uh, maybe. Because he was a builder, yeah. Um... Uh, who is the one who built Alexandria? And this is what it says in your books. Anyway, let it go. I mean, why you guys are so much sensitive with the information? Allah is talking, show respect. Allah says, and Allah knows best. Now, verily we establish his power on earth. So who is the one who established Zulqarnain power on earth? How Allah in the Quran speak about Sadum and Amura that he destroyed them, which is a story he copied from the Bible because they are homo, and now he established a power for a homosexual and bisexual. Any Muslim? Let it go, let it go, let it go. Now, Allah now he is going to give us de more details about the amazing journey of his prophet. Zul Qurnayn, Alexander the Great. Even Alexander the Great became a Muslim prophet. You see, Muhammad, anyone famous in his time, he make him a Muslim. Anyone, anyone. And the only one he did not make him a Muslim is the Pharaoh. Why? Because supposedly the story says that Allah killed him. Which is, uh, he's copying the story from the, from the Torah. So, anyone is famous in the time of Muhammad, if I was existing at the time of Muhammad, I guarantee you he will make me a Muslim. He will tell them, let me tell you about Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he is an Arab guy. He speaks many languages, including Arabic. And then, after 1400 years, we will get someone like Zakir Naik. He will say, Brother Tata, in the time of the Prophet, there used to be a guy his name is the Christian Prince. And Christian Prince, he used to be the enemy of Islam. However, Allah was opening his eyes and he became a Muslim. And actually, according to the story, and it is a very authentic story, that a second before he, he be died, he converted to Islam and he put his finger up and he said, Ashadu Allah ila ila And this is the true story. But what the heck? Christian Prince became a Muslim? Are you sure? Everybody is a Muslim. The stone convert to Islam. The stone say Assalamu Alaikum to the Prophet. The, the tree, the tree say Shahada. The goat say Shahada. The camel say Shahada. The dead lizard say Shahada. I mean, who's left? Nobody is left. All right. Actually, yeah, the Quran says even animals are, are Muslims. Uh, animals are Muslims, and Allah, He gave them Quran, my friend. And Allah will judge them in the judgment day. He will gather them all. Imagine Allah, even Muhammad, He spoke about Allah will judge between two goats. I'm telling you, this is an amazing book. Read and love. وَمَا مِنْ دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا طَائِرٍ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحَيْهِ إِلَّا أُمُّمٌ أَمْثَالَكُمْ مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّهِمْ يُحْشَرُونَ What the heck is that? How you can say such a thing? Are you sure? Too much hashish. All the animals are community like you and they are going to be gathered in front of Allah and they've been given a book. So right now, as we speak, there is somebody, an ant, or a cockroach, or a, a pig, or a camel, or a cow, they are reciting Quran somewhere, and they are Muslims. And Allah 
will judge them in the judgment day what do you say Now, as long as this guy he insists about what it's called uh, the 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 miracle of Cirrus, whatever they call it, well, I find myself I have no choice but to go there. Hold on, let me get you this thing so we can laugh. You ask for it. The Muslim who's asking, you ask for it, my friend. The star, the star series miracle warning from Allah in the Quran by Samir Basic. His his last name is Basic. Is that the cousin of the visual basic something? Okay, let it go. All right, where the Quran speak about that, and it was at the distance of two bow length or nearer, fifty three nine. What does this have to do with the stars of Sirius? This is about Muslims. They are confused. By the way, this verse about about what? Some they say this is about the angel Jibreel coming down, and some they say it's about Allah. However, the Quran make it clear it's about Allah. Let us go there. You see, you are the one who asked for this, so don't blame me for what's going to, going to happen now. Let us read together Allah. <clears throat> And you know what? Feel free to read the 20 verse before it and 20 verse after it. There's no 20 verse after it, before it. I mean, this is the verse number nine. But I mean, read whatever verses you want before it. This is about, it says here, by the stars when it goes down. This is not, this is have nothing to do with the star who is the one. Because if the star is coming down, that's when your God Allah is a star. Because it says the star, he inspired the prophet. Then he approached. Have you ever heard of a star? We call him he. Is that a star is a person? It might be Michael Jackson. He's a superstar. Are you there? The Abdul who is asking me to read about this. My friend, are you there? So is this is a star or is it he? Maybe it is she then. Look like this is star have a gender. So he approached and came closer. Okay. And it was a distance of two bows length, even near. So the star of Sirius became so close to Muhammad, almost he is two arms far away from him. Are you sure? I mean, do you see how stupid this is this claim about a miracle? The star came down to Muhammad to the point he became two arms away from him. By the way, guys, those things happen to us in the Middle East always. When I was in the Middle East, I always see stars coming next to me. Honestly, once I was walking in the street, I was going to cross the road, huh? and I found a star coming like in the speed of a bullet and shot a cat. There was a sniper. This is during the war time. I was crossing the street. You know, this cat actually saved my life. This is true. I was going to cross the street, and then there's a cat saw me from the other side, like she is almost in the corner of the street, which is I'm coming through. And I want to cross the street. So the you know, the, in the Middle East, cats is not like here in America. You know, the cat or the dog, he will lay down and he wouldn't care about you because you know nothing will happen to them. They have experienced a human, don't hurt them. In the Middle East, they run away when they see a human being. So when the cat she saw me, she ran to cross the street before me, and the sniper hit her and he split her to pieces. That was a star I saw, you know. God saved my life by this cat. So maybe this is the star they are talking about, because it was like almost two arms close to me. And it was a distance of two bow length or even nearer. And then so Allah convey his inspiration. So Allah, Allah is the star. I want to know how this has became the star you are talking about. Any Muslim can tell us. 
You see, we have a lack of intelligence. Hmm? We, we Christians, we are not smart like you Muslims. How this is became the star you are talking about. Secondly, what kind of a star come down? Come down where? What kind of God he swear by the star when it goes down? Have you ever heard of a star going down? This is a stupid thing to say. What down? What up? Anybody can tell me what is up and what is down? Down where? On us? Anyone will use a bad language in the text. We will we will give you time out first time, and then we will block you. Just to let you know, we are not here to insult the Muslims. We are here to debate them. So, by the star when it goes down, who is talking Allah? Okay, I want to know where the star go down. Who is the scientific Muslim, scientist Muslim can tell us where the stars go down? This is a guy who lived down in the earth. His name is Muhammad. He saw a star coming down. He think it's a star? This is not a star, my friend. If a star fell down in the earth, the earth will be destroyed. If, if a rock, if, if, a, if a big rock fell down in earth, like uh, there, is an, uh, there is an incident about a rock fell down in Siberia, and I don't know how many kilometers were destroyed, just a small rock. Because uh, it passed uh, the atmosphere and the atmosphere was not enough to uh, like to, to, uh, to destroy it, uh, totally burn it. So what star is coming down? Any Muslim want to tell us? I will tell you what the star we are talking about. If we go to a different verse, you see, I, I like it when a Muslim he speak about uh, like he at least we got a Muslim in text asking for for something. Allah created the star or the star to hit the Satan in his ass, and me myself I saw that many times. Chapter 67, verse number 5. And we have from uh, uh, all, this is between two brackets, adorned the lowest heaven with lamps, and we made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the evil ones. But, but in Arabic it says shayateen, satans. So what the stars are made for? This is the Star War project of George Bush. Satan Satan, he tried to spy at Allah. Allah is waiting for Satan. Satan is coming up, Satan is coming up, Satan coming up. And why Satan is going up? Anyone knows? Who knows why Satan is coming up? Anyone knows? Hold on. Satan, he tried to go up so all because he want to spy. You go to chapter 15, verse number 18, it says. And we guarded them from every cursed evil. Guarded what? Guarded the sky. You see it? It is we have set our zodical sign. Zodical sign is made by Allah. Are you sure? Oof. Oof, man. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Allah, he made the zodical sign. Are you my witness, my friend? What zodical sign? What, what the heck is that? How you can make those things? If there is a Muslim can explain to us. 
So Allah is the one who made those things in heaven and made them fair seeming to all beholder. See, we are the one who made the zodiacal sign for you and made them beautiful for you. However, we guarded them, brother and sister. We guarded the zodiacal signs from every evil. Not from every evil. It doesn't say evil, by the way. It says from every Satan. But if any of them, which means the Satan, he try to spy, you see, I hear him by his teeth. What the heck of the Satan trying to spy at Allah? Are you kidding me? Are you stupid or what? You spy at Trump in the White House, it's possible. At the, the, the you know, uh, 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 the president of uh, Mexico, the president, but you spy at Allah? You must be crazy. A right away, Allah, when Shaitan, he tried to spy at him, Allah, he shoot him by a flaming fire. Are you sure? And Abdul is, uh, this is the miracle, science miracle? Is that the miracle we are talking about, Muslims? Are you sure? Like this is, are you, are you, are you still uh, sure that this is uh, science, uh, scientifically, you know? Huh? Shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah. I mean, what Allah is doing there? How close Allah? Okay, if Shaitan, he went to the atmosphere, because the Quran says the Shaitan cannot leave the atmosphere. And then after that here in this chapter he says and then we spread out the earth it doesn't say we spread the out earth and the spread, spread out it says we made it flat my friend here we go science again so Allah is very scientific when he speak about what is above and what he speak about what is down me myself first time I did read this I was going to convert to Islam almost almost but then I said to myself, if I convert to Islam now, hmm? and everybody laugh at me for I became very smart. Because, you know, obviously when you became so smart, people will laugh at you. Like people laugh at Einstein, not because of his hair. No, because he was funny. <laughs> he say things is crazy, but later people, they found it's true. So maybe later we will find this is true, that God is shooting shaitan in his ass when he tried to go out of the zone of the earth. Huh? An article after article after article, and what? What is that? And look here, they give you numbers. A brother, a brother, a brother. In article, we present another miracle which Allah remind us that He is the creator, the owner, uh, and of all exist. Hold on. Let me hide my phone. This is my phone, my buddy. This is my phone. Allah have nothing to do with it. Don't play games. From now on, I mean, it, even my fingerprint in the phone. What do you mean Allah is the owner of all things? And then we go down and we see numbers. And those numbers are scientific numbers. So what, they, what the Muslims, they try to do, they mix between science and a verse from the Quran and they try to confuse you to make you, this is speaking about science. And it was a distance of two bows length or nearer. Okay, what does this have to do with the, the, with the, the, the star? And that who is your Lord, the Lord of Sirius. If, 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 if that is the Lord of Sirius. Chapter 50, 53, verse number 49. Hold on, hold on. Let us love together. Let us love together. Hmm. I like it. Where, 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 where? Yeah, 49. In the Quran, if we go to verse number 49, just to show you the corruption and the deception in Arabic. وَإِنَّهُ هُوَ رَبُّ الشِّعْرَةِ 
What does that mean? If we go right now and we read the interpretation of the Muslims, what we will find? Hold on. Look up in Google search. Google, Google. Prophet Google, peace upon you. All right. Ashara is ismu najmin min nujumi burji jawza shadidu al-diya wa yusamma kalbu al-jabbar this this star is one of the uh, zodiacal uh, whatever signs of a jawza what is a jawza in uh, in english let me translate this one a jawza i need to translate that hold on I'm I'm not really into those stupid things, you know. I don't believe in them. Uh, I want to see what a jaza is equal in English. Because people they are obsessed with those things. What is that? Burj El Jaza. I know in English is giving me Gimini. What Gimini? Is that correct? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, it's it's one of the. Uh, let me see if I can find images, and we can maybe we can find. And you tell me what does that mean? Because if we can find the image of it. Okay, the image is of uh, two girls. Two girls together. What is that in English? <clears throat> what Nader Ahmad? Nader Ahmad is here. This guy's an idiot. This guy is the one who admit that his prophet was having sex with his uh, with the with the with the goat. <laughs> He said, so what if the prophet had sex with the goat? So what? It's better than your Bible. It says, smash the head of the baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, you should see it. Yeah, you should see it. Do you have it still? Nadir Ahmad, post it, post it. So the people, they can watch and laugh. So what if the prophet have sex with the goat, you idiot? Mm. Yeah. Why you don't call me like Nader Ahmad? So like we can refresh our memory and we can laugh. What do you think? You want to call me? Just for a laugh. Do you want to call? Do you want to call and tell us about the miracle of the Quran? This guy, he was sending emails. He want to beat the hell of Osama Abdullah. And he want to beat, uh, what is his name? Bassam, Bettawi, uh, Sattawi. I don't know what their names. So they, they are sharing emails. They want to play karate. I want to beat you. I'll break your bones. And the idiot, they are sharing all those emails with Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon and the mailing list, they do not know that they are, the, the Christians are receiving those emails. I'm going to break your bones. If you are a man, appear. I will show, I will meet you there, you know? I mean, hilarious. Hilarious, people. Trashy. Anyway, we continue. Uh, here it says, وَيُسَمَّ كَلْبُ الْجَبَّارِ This star is called كَلْبُ الْجَبَّارِ Okay. I'm not sure how to translate that, but كَلْبُ الْجَبَّارِ means the dog of Allah. The dog of Allah. Now, do Allah have a dog? Yes. You see, Muhammad, he told them that those stars you see, this is the dog of Allah. The dog of Allah. Let me, let me, uh, let me uh, find you where Muhammad he says that. The same chapter, the chapter of An-Najm.
Here we go. Tafsir al-Qur'an. Tafsir al-Qur'an. Okay, oh, Lord, Tafsir al-Qur'an. The same chapter we are reading from. This is not me saying that, my friend. When the Prophet was reciting the chapter of An-Najm, and he said, when Najmu idha hawa, this is verse number one. Hmm? And remember, this is not me. My Skype is open. This is not me saying so. Muhammad, he said to his cousin, Qala Utba ibn Abi Lahab. Utba is the son of Abu Lahab. He said to Muhammad, I don't worship, I don't care for this God of the star, you idiot. I'm not a pagan like you. So Muhammad, he said to him, Ama takhaf an Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Any Muslim have the courage to say, I am lying? This is the same chapter we are reading about science, by the way. This is the same chapter they are talking about science. Allah, he have a dog, and this dog is a, is a star. Because Muhammad, he looked at the sky, he found that there is some stars, they made a shape of a dog. So, as you see here in the different interpretation, it says, his name, Kalbu Jabbar, the dog of the Jabbar, the dog of Allah. Jabbar is uh, uh, what like translation Arabic? It's one of the names of Allah. It's like uh, the one who, with a lot of power, and he will make you like he will he will subdue you. He will destroy you. You know. So this is the dog of the Jabbar. This is Jabbar is one of the names of Allah. This is the Kalb Al Jabbar, Kalb Al Jabbar. And here Muhammad he confirmed that he believed in this garbage. So he says to to his cousin. Aren't you afraid that dog of Allah will eat you? And not only that, the story continues saying. So this guy who is the son of Abu Lahab, when he went in a trade business to Yemen, and there was a wedding party, he heard a sound of a lion. Then he said to his friend, or to his friends, I will be eating. <laughs> he know it. He is going to be eating. Now, this is the dog of Allah is coming. Okay. Then, and they look at him, and Allah made them all asleep. He, he hid them with their head. He made them sleep, all of them. And they slept. And then the dog of Allah came and ate him. And he must have a comment. No, Skype is not off. So how is Skype is off and you are texting me? Skype is not off. Any Muslim have a comment about the science of the dog of Allah who wanna eat us? And I, I thought, you know, I thought dogs are dirty. Like your prophet, he said, the one who have a dog, Allah will decrease his deeds. So Allah himself have a dog now? Hello? Hello? It is me you're looking for. Christian Prince, aren't you afraid from the dog of Allah? I'm serious. You make fun of Allah day and night, huh? and you make books about and Right now, I have nine books, and I'm working in two more books. Aren't you afraid, you idiot, that the dog of Allah will come and eat you? And do you know how big the dog of Allah And look how funny, guys. This dog, he is a dog, but yet he have a voice of a lion. Eww, what a cool man. You see, the dog of Allah is not like our dogs. It's not like a chihuahua. Hey, come on, there's no way it is a real lion dog. It says, Maybe I think the mother, I think, I think what happened this dog he was, he, he's Allah, he signed him in a dating website for lions, so he died, dated a lion female. So, like, they have that, that it's a dog, but has his mother voice. I mean, like, it happened, it happened all the time. Hmm? 
Is that the science Muslims who are talking about the star of series? This is your interpretation. This is not my book and the one is saying that is your prophet You know what? Let me see if I can find this in uh, but I don't think I'm going to find this in uh, in the English translation uh, Hold on hold on what about we go and we see uh, 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 Ibn Kathir in English. Let us see what Ibn Kathir was saying. Hold on, Ibn Kathir. <sighs> By the way, I close all the doors and all the windows, you know. Because I don't want the dog of Allah to come over here. I mean, that would be horrible. <clears throat> All right. This is Ibn Kathir. No, this is the wrong verse. Hold on. What? 53. Hold on. 53. Allah swear the messenger is it true <laughs> I swear that the messenger is it true I swear Allah swear I mean have you ever heard of Allah uh, Allah swear Allah swear but I, I swear that the messenger is a true messenger Allah swear to who If there's any any Abdul in the bushes when Allah he swear he swear to who I swear by the moon and the star I swear what the heck is this religion is about in Abu Hatim re recorded a Sahabi and the other stated uh, the Creator swear by whatever he wills what whatever he wills that's something why Allah did not swear by a Christian prince? I mean, hey, okay. Allah in the Quran, He swear by the fig. I swear by the fig and the banana. I swear, I swear, I. You know, I'm sure if Muhammad ever he went to Asia and he saw the the fruit they have there, he will make a chapters for them, and Allah will swear by this guy. He went to Damascus to Syria, you know. And he saw the fig there. He saw the olive. So he swear by the fig. He liked the fig. I miss it. I buy the fig by the olive. Hmm? By the star. Allah swear by whatever he want. I mean, what we can do? Allah swear by Allah. Have you ever heard Allah by swearing by by somebody swear by Allah? Allah swear by Allah. I mean, how this happened? Any Muslim have an idea? How such a thing happened? Any Abdul? Anyway, let it go. Let us go back to the topic. By the star when it goes down, the star refers to to predators of the set of the Fajr, and the Haka Shaitan when Shaitan are shot with it. If 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 so, see guys, the Muslims explain to us that this star is the star which Allah He shoot the Shaitan in his ass. You see the science? This is the Sirius star. Okay. All right. Hmm. So I swear by the sitting of the star. Hold on. The stars have a sitting place. Where is the sitting place of the star? If, if somebody want to call me, call me. Please don't tell me, hello, hi, how are you? You want to call, call. If you are a Muslim, I don't want to take a call right now from anyone except a Muslim. Because as you know, customers come first. 
I swear by the sitting of the stars. Muslims, where the stars set? Hmm? What happened here? It's confirming to Muhammad to the Muslims that Muhammad he did not lose his way. Okay. Why why he think they lose he lose his way? What happened? Because Muhammad was doing crazy stuff. So Allah swear by the star to confirm that Muhammad must be a prophet. I mean, is the star is something holy to swear by? If you swear by the star or you swear by the donkey, how that can confirm that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Any Muslim can tell me? If somebody came to us and he claimed to be a prophet of God, and then he said to me, okay, my God gave me this. He said, I swear by the star he is a prophet. I swear, I swear. Okay, so what does that mean? How in the world that confirmed to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Any Muslim? And then <laughs> we go in the interpretation, we will find that Allah, He have a dog. And this is the dog of the stars and the dog of Allah. Very impressive. I mean, obviously, this is very scientific. Now we continue. Okay. The Christian, the Jews, they say to Muhammad, you are a false prophet and look what you are doing. You know, you are an idiot, blah, blah, blah. blah. So Muhammad want to confirm to the Christians that he doesn't speak of his own. Okay, hold on. He the, nor does he speak of desire. So Muhammad is God. When somebody says that Muhammad, he don't speak of his own desire, that's mean is he claiming that Muhammad is God? Because man have a desire. If a man he don't speak of his own desire, that means he is God on earth. Anything he say is from God. Hold on. If we go to the chapter of At Tahrim. Read me, read me, read with me, Abdul. In the chapter of At-Tahrim, where your prophet he did swear that he is going to stop having sex with Mary the Copt, his his maid, his homemaid. Was Muhammad making or speaking of his own desire or desire of Allah? His wife, she came home, she found him having bong bong bing bong with the maid in her bed. Look how respectful this guy. In the bed of the wives, having sex party. So his wife, she jumped on him. And this is, a wife is a powerful war because Muhammad, remember, he married from his companions, his their daughters. This is how he can earn their support from every one of his companions. Most of them, he married their daughters. So now this is a daughter of one of his companions. So he cannot lose this guy. He need him very much. Powerful men. He need them. He married their daughters. And now the daughter, she found Muhammad having bing, bing, bong, bong, boom, boom, you know, with the, with the maid. So Muhammad, he said, I swear. By Allah, I swear. I will not do it again. I swear. Okay. And then, after a week or so, Muhammad, he got horny again. But he swear he will not have sex with the maid no more. So Muhammad, he come with an idea which always he use. Allah said to me, you cannot forbid yourself from having sex with the maid. So Allah, he sent him a, a message saying, O Prophet of Allah, why you forbid for yourself where Allah he made lawful for you? 
And you know, if all the Muslims in the world are listening, I want you to show me where in the Quran it says that it's lawful for you to have sex with the maid. Is it lawful in Islam to have sex with the maid? So are you saying to me, Muslims, if your wife come home and she found you having sex with the maid, it is lawful? <laughs> Oh boy, as I know in Islam, it's allowed to rape a slave who is captured from war. Mary the Copt was not captured from war, she was a gift. You see, Muhammad is a good guy. The Muslim they say to us, Muhammad, you don't like to take brown killer and black slaves. This is a poor Egyptian woman, and her cousins and many of her family was given all of them as a one package to the Prophet as a gift. And he accept the gift and he start having sex with them. So what do you mean Muhammad he don't speak of his own? There we go. A Quran saying Muhammad speak of his own. Muhammad here he's forbidding. Remember when Muhammad he forbid something all Muslims they follow. You know what I mean? Which means Muhammad here is fabricating law but here Muhammad he got himself busted why because he forbid himself from doing that then the Muslims have to follow but then he got horny again he want to have sick with the slave but he promised the wife he will not do that again he just promised her so what he would do he have to bring Allah authority to satisfy his uh, private part as usual This is why Aisha in the hadith, if you remember, Aisha, she said, Aisha, she knew Muhammad is, is a false man. So she, she said to him, oh, I see that your God, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. Where is the hadith? Let us try again. Here we go. Aisha, she is not stupid. She noticed that this guy he used always God in the favor of his sexual desire. Anytime he wanna force people to have sex with him, he bring God in the middle. I felt jealous of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger, but we need to ask ourselves why women are offering themselves to the Messenger. The Messenger, at least he have 13 wives. He have hundreds, if not thousands of slaves. Why he need women who they are believers offering themselves to the Prophet? Imagine, guys, the Muslim, they hate Paul, right? Imagine if Paul in the Bible says, any Christian woman she want to sleep with me, she is welcome. What the Muslims will do? Allahu Akbar, disgusting, disgusting teaching of Paul, the crazy, the hypocrite, the blah, 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 blah. This is your prophet saying that. You tell me how in the world a prophet of God, he make a chapter in the Quran saying any Muslim woman, she can offer herself to the prophet. Why? Anyone? By the way, uh, my coming book is going to be about the apostles of Jesus and Islam. I'm trying to finish it before the end of the month because next month I have a trip. Uh, you guys you will like it and you will love it very much. And don't forget those, as long as we are talking about my books, uh, don't forget those who get my books uh, to make a review, please, of the books. Um, and just make an honest review. It doesn't matter if you like it or not, you know Now I know you like it. I know Well, if I if you know if 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 you don't like it, okay, let me tell you what I would do I will call Allah and I will ask him to send his dog and he will eat you all Have you ever heard of a, a prophet of God? 
a guy his cousin he said to him I don't care for the Lord of the stars who Lord of the stars we don't worship Lord of the stars this is pagan he says to him aren't you afraid Allah will send his dog to eat you and because I'm an Arab I am connected so be careful Allah have a dog and he speak Arabic I can call all right now Allah right now I can give him the nick the nickname of any of you and he will come and he will eat you without even salt we go back to the topic so Aisha she knew that Muhammad is a scam so she said huh look at this guy he is ordering Muslim women to provide their sexual private part sexual activities to him as a service and he claimed that this is an order from Allah make it lawful for him any woman she can offer herself the Muslims they say oh this is she is offering herself in marriage okay can you name for me the ones who Muhammad he married after he stepped with them from this uh, offering and the Quran says, yes, thank you, not marry her. Yes, thank you is a continuous verb. Do you marry your wife every day? Continues, I-N-G. Huh? And the word nukah, we prove it many times that the word nukah have nothing to do with the word marriage. The word nukah literally means the F word. As simple as that. And Aisha, she said, don't those women have a shame to offer themselves to a man? And how in the world the women she can offer herself? Then when Allah, the exalted, the glorious revealed this, which means the verse, you may differ any of them you wish look Muhammad not only he make a verse it says any woman she can offer herself Muhammad now in trouble a lot of women come in offering themselves and why women they are offering themselves maybe some people they think maybe Muhammad is like a, a very handsome guy they want to sleep with him no this is not the case if she sleep with Muhammad she will guarantee security a life support for her lifetime because now she was one of the women of the Prophet and Muhammad he made a verse saying no man can marry any of his wives after his death this is how jealous this mule is this is my female this is my territory you ask the Muslims is the Muslim woman is allowed to marry after death of her husband they say sure yeah because this is will prevent temptation brother it's better for her to marry for sure actually we should encourage it Okay, why Aisha was forbidden to get married again? Muhammad died, Aisha was not even 18. How Aisha, she satisfy her sexual needs. How come all women, they should marry if the husband die except the wives of Muhammad? Because Muhammad is a dictator like Al-Qazafi. He take, he don't give. He's selfish. He's dead, yet his wives, they cannot marry anyone. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the reason. Is it is that committing sin if the wife of Muhammad she marry again? She's marrying. What's wrong with that? No, she cannot. Allah forbid them. And then Aisha she said, after she heard this verse, which is exposing the hypocrisy and the falsehood of Muhammad, she said, huh. It seemed to me that your Lord has changed to satisfy your desire, Prophet. Satisfy. 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 Satisfy the Prophet desire. Yeah, this is true. God of the universe, who created the whole heaven and earth, all the stars, billions of them. We are not even a dust. The whole earth is not even dust. Imagine so. Imagine you as a human, how small you are. It's not even a, not even in the size of bacteria compared to this universe. 
the God of the universe making verses for Muhammad saying any woman she can give herself to you however if she is ugly <laughs> you can differ you can deny her or even you can refuse to sleep with her what the, what the job of this God is do is to do he is a supervisor of uh, uh, in Las Vegas the casino of Muhammad Muhammad now he is uh, in need of some women so Allah he make a verse for him what the purpose of having wives you see Muhammad have many wives the Muslim they say to us with no shame that Muhammad he was doing political agenda so he is a man using the women this is this is satanic if you marry a woman not for her for for you if you love you love her if you marry her for a reason of your own you are using her if you marry a woman for her money it's mean you're an evil man if you marry a woman because she will give you a job you're an evil man so Muslims they have no shame to say yes Muhammad he married them to use them to establish his uh, his power okay what about those a man who have 13 wives hundreds of slaves as we showed you Muhammad even having sex with the slaves who is a gift not even slaves from capture from war and this is coming from your books why he need to make a chapter saying any woman she can give herself to the prophet what is the need of that he's short of sex this guy is he's single he cannot find a woman to marry him to sleep with him or he never have enough They want to have more and more and more. We have a guy, his name is Nabil. How are you, how are you, how are you doing, Mr. Nabil? Do you like to call me Mr. Nabil? You see, we have many Muslims in the chat. I don't know why they don't want to call us. Who is who is here, a Muslim, is willing to call us and refute us? We want to hear your voice, my friend, and we will speak to you in with respect. Any Muslim want to do that? Who is the Muslim want to do that? I challenge you to prove me wrong about anything I said from the beginning until now. Who want to do that? Look, the second I challenged them to call me, they play dead. Nobody is even moving. Who is the Muslim want to call me and tell me you are wrong? Yeah, Islam that is the best because here we go. We have a prophet who is cheating his wives, fabricating Quran for his own sexual desire, claiming that Allah has a dog, claiming that Alexander the Great is a prophet of Allah, and he found the sun set in the murky water. What do you want more? I mean, do you want more proofs? Any Muslim would like to call us? Okay, Mr. Nature, why you don't call me, my friend? Guys, give him give him my account in Skype. Let him call me. Just call. Don't tell me hi or hello. Just give me a call and we will talk to you. All right? We have Mr. Nature. He is going to call me. And when you when you call me, I'm going to give you a name. Uh, I mean, I will give you a question fit with your name. Chicken, okay. Do you guys? I told you many times. If a Muslim says something to me, I will make him ashamed of it. He said, "Christian prince, you are a chicken." What if I show you that your God Allah, He sit in the top of a rooster? What do you want to say? Right now, in front of everybody. You are calling me a chicken, right? Can you explain to me what kind of a god he sat in the top of a rooster? Are you there?
Don't play dead now. You are the one who mentioned the chicken. Liar? Okay, what about you call me right now? In front of everybody. If I don't show the reference and I prove it, I will shut down my, my program and I will never come back to YouTube again. Is that fair, guys? What do you say? All what you need to do You call me. Deal? Deal or no deal? See how they are sure that's I will not say something unless it is true. Then sit down. Any three words you say to me in text, I can bring you a shameful story about your God and your prophet. Any three words, anything you say to me, I guarantee you. Make a sentence of three words, especially if you call me names. Try, try, call me names. Go ahead. Call me names. Try, try your best. What the name you want to call me? Go ahead. Look, they are scared now to call me names because they are afraid I'm going to show them something stupid about their God. You are talking to Christian friends. All your religion is in my head. All of it. All the disasters. All the madness. Isa as is a human. Guys, Isa is a human. Isa is a human. I mean, look, this is... Are you watching too much uh, scientific discovery? The Christian, they believe that Isa is a human too. I mean, what did you break something in you? Allah is a human too. Do you want to show it to you? Here we go. Your God, Allah, is fat and short and he have a curly hair. You are the one who mentioned Isa, right? Not me. Remember. Okay. How your prophet describe his God? Read carefully. This is how your God look like. Muhammad is teaching the Muslims how Allah look like and how the false Messiah look like at the Dajjal. And they perfectly match in everything. They have the same height, the same hair, the same face, the same everything. Except that the false Messiah, the Antichrist, he have one eye is damaged. I think he was doing like playing firework or something. In the 7th of July, huh? The rest is the same. Allah is deep seated. Allah have a curly hair. Allah have uh, his uh, his his short. Read the description. Muhammad saying, if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. Confused about who? About the Dajjal, the Antichrist. So Muhammad is afraid of what? Afraid that you Muslims, you might think that this guy is Allah. So if Allah is not a man, why Muhammad is describing the man, saying that this is how he looked like, and the only difference between him and Allah is the only the right eye? Can you tell me? Any Muslim can tell us. Allah is not one eyed. Guys, don't don't put the Muslims in time out, please. As long as they don't use a dirty language, no problem. Any Muslim can tell us how this happened? What is the confusion? You Muslim, you will be confused about what? 
about he's afraid that your Lord you might think he's your Lord how you would think he's your Lord if Allah is not a man what what is the where is this like what is the point of confusion here where Allah and the Antichrist they met as a look so you Muslims might be confused about as you see Muhammad is describing physical description He's not talking about power or anything. He's talking about physical description. So what is the only difference between this man and Allah? The right eye. So how you say to me, Allah is not a man? Will you prove it to me? Your prophet is saying the opposite. Your prophet is saying the opposite. You can go right now in YouTube and see that uh, you're a prophet. There is tons of hadith and tons of videos made by Muslims. Actually, I made a video about it's called Who is Allah? Go watch it. The Muslim, he said Allah have five fingers. He have two eyes. He have a foot. Allah have two hands and both of them in the right hand, right side. Have you ever heard of a, I mean, what kind of God this God is? Even octopus, he have hands every direction except Allah. Allah have hands only in the right side. Explain to me. So how Allah is God, but yet he is a physical being, and he have two hands. And why he have two hands? What about having seven, eleven heaven, uh, 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 like uh, twenty hands? Why two hands? And why they are both in the right side? Any Abdul can tell us. Read it, my friend. And both the hand of Allah are right. Kilta yadayhi yameen. Wa kilta yadayhi rabbi yameen. Do you see it? I will show it to you in English. And in Arabic I close the right of my Lord and both of the hands of my Lord are right do you see it So the Muslim, they keep saying to us things. Obviously, they do not know who is their God. You remember my debate with Dr. Nabil Baikli, the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee? He said, yes, Allah is a physical being, and no one knows who is Allah. Like, what the heck? So what are you worshipping? Oh, what you know that his name is Allah? That's it? He have two hands in the right side? How this can be God? And what, what about the left side? What happened to the left side? There's nothing there. Any Muslim having a comment? Anything you want to say? Who want to answer us about Allah have two hands in the right side? Any uh, any solution for this? Uh, anyone? <laughs> what a madness! I feel sorry for Allah. What if something in his left, how he can grab it? Because now he have to put everything in the right side. What if somebody came from the left side and he give him a, a, a bunch? <laughs> Allah cannot do anything because his hands in the right side. This is a weakness. This is not a strength. Metaphorical. What a metaphorical. Hold on, hold on. When the pro when your prophet speak about Allah have five fingers, this is metaphorical, huh? 
Even the Quran is speaking about Allah have a foot and have a shin. And the hadith explain more about that. Who want to call me and tell me about the metaphorical? I like metaphorical stuff. Hmm? I really like metaphorical stuff. Metaphorical, right? When they want the Muslims, Quran speak about science. When they want, it's a metaphorical. Nobody understood this as metaphorical, not ever. But now, because it's funny, and you know that it's funny and it's stupid, so you start saying it's a metaphorical. What is the metaphorical of Allah having five fingers? You tell me. I, I, I'm going, I'm listening. Huh? Any Muslim? In different hadith, actually, Muhammad he said. How Allah He hold? Here we go. Very the heart of all the sons of Adam are between two fingers out of the fingers of Allah. Do you see it? Your Allah have fingers. Muslim, do you see it or no? Is that my fabrication? Are you sure? Is this guy talking to me? This guy is asking me, are you sure? No, I am the one saying, are you sure? Are you sure Allah have two fingers? Hmm. When Allah He says He put His foot on the fire, metaphorical. Muhammad had sex with his wife. No, it was a metaphorical. Muhammad he killed the man. No, it was a metaphorical. The Prophet said the hellfire will keep on saying, are there any more? What the heck with this hellfire? The hellfire speak. Yeah, because it's a creator, it's a, it's a, it's a creature. Hellfire is a dragon in Islam. The mouth of the hellfire is open, it's a dragon. So, he keeps saying, any more, any more, any more. And then Allah, he put his foot on the mouth of this fire. And this fire will say, caught, caught, after Allah, he put his foot over it. Now tell me metaphor. What is the metaphor guy? Where is Mr. Metaphor? Hmm? Nice to meet you, Metaphor. Okay, Muhammad Abdullah, why you don't call us, my friend, and explain to us the Metaphor in the Quran? Doesn't does not, does not mean literally? Okay, guys, if it does not mean literally, so how you Muslims believe in different story? If we go and read your scholars, they say differently. As in here in front of us, it says, uh, in this story here, that Allah have a dog. How come chapter, uh, uh, this chapter in the Quran is not about metaphorical? For you, it's a metaphorical. How come the scholars didn't agree? 
why the Muslims for the last 14 centuries they don't believe that was this is metaphorical now it's a metaphorical what happened ah guys he said look at guys look what this guy he said he said something very important I like it he said I refrain I like that Because this is remind me of something. Anyone remember what does that remind me of? I refrain from calling you. Well, this is what Allah He said. When when they challenge Allah to send the miracle, what He said, He said, I refrain. I refrain. I refrain from sending miracles. Do you want to see it? Don't, don't now you want to tell me this is a metaphorical? When Allah He said the same word, are you are ah you are using Quran to refute me? Yeah, right. I was wondering, I mean, what happened here? Huh? Look what the Quran says. Chapter 17, verse number 59. Yusuf Ali. You see, even I don't use the Christian translation, I use Muslim translation. And we refrain from sending miracles. My friend, this is the refrain religion. This is the refrain religion. Allah, He refrained. Why Allah, you refrain to send miracles? How come uh, Musa have miracles? Everybody have miracles. Isa, He have tons of them. How come in the time of Muhammad you refrain? Here we go. Allah have a strike. Allah decide not to do medical no more. Allah, why? Allah, please. Please, Allah, make a miracle. No, I refrain. I refrain. I refrain from eating it chicken. I refrain. Allah, the metaphorical God. Yeah. Anyone, anybody can tell me why he refrained? Now, look at the false excuse Muhammad he gave. Only, you see, Muslims can't play games now because Allah, he said only. When Allah, he says only, it's mean only. Ah, maybe it's a metaphorical only. <laughs> only because the men of former generation treated them as false. What the heck? What do you mean the former generation? The Christians, they believe in every miracle written in the Bible. No, what are you talking about? What former generation? You see the false excuse? Did the Christians deny the miracle of Jesus? Did they deny the miracle of uh, Moses or other prophets? But because Muhammad is a scam, he have no miracles. This is why we see him in different verse. He says the following. Uh, the miracle is coming. The miracle is coming, my friend. قُلْ إِنْتَظِرُوا إِنَّا مُنْتَظِرُونَ What does that mean? What the heck? This is crazy, my friend. They are asking Muhammad, keep asking for a miracle. And then he says to them, say, wait, ye, we too are waiting. We too are waiting. So Allah, he told them, wait for the miracle. But in different verse, he said, we refrain. So which one now of them is correct? He refrain or he will send one? Oh, how in the world God he say wait and why wait? I mean send it. People can keep asking, what why you don't have a miracle? Wait, it's coming, it's in the shipping. I order it in the shipping, and it's not coming yet. The delivery is late. The what the prophet he split the moon. My friend, if your prophet he split the moon, that's mean Allah is a liar. Because we just showed you the verse saying Allah he refrain. Correct, guys? Is that correct? If Allah says we refrain, how Allah he did the miracle to Muhammad if he refrained? What do you think? Thank you for saying that. You are the one who said the prophet he split the moon. 
So how Allah he refrained and he split the moon? Hello? Did he refrain or he did not refrain? Now we go back, we go to this uh, splitting the moon. Let us laugh at this one. He, he mentioned it, not me. I mean, what I can do? When the Muslims mention the moon splitting, I really I like this topic, which I fear very much because it's very strong. The moon uh, story is very strong. Oh. Look at this. This is the miracle he's speaking about. Chapter 54, verse number one. Unbelievable. I always fear speaking about this because a lot of people, when they read this verse, they convert to Islam. All right. Verse number one. The hour has drawn near and the moon has been a cleft ascender. Okay. In this verse, it's easy to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet because he just claimed that the judgment they started. You see, in Arabic it says, which is taken from the poetry of Amrul Qais, where it says Danat. He just changed the first word. This is a this is a this is a part of a poetry made by a man, his name Imrul Qais. Muhammad took it as it is. If you have my books, you will see how Muhammad copy. So the judgment day is in the corner. It's not like coming. No, no, no. It's like uh, uh, almost here. Like when you say uh, it's like somebody uh, he, he will show up right now. This is what it's uh, about me. So the judgment day is almost there, and the moon is split. You know what? Let us go and see the interpretation for the verse. So the Muslim will not say I'm making things up. Chapter 54, verse number one. Okay. Read carefully with me, brother. Sisters in Islam. My name is Noma Khan. The hour has drawn near the resurrection. The resurrection is so closed at the hand. You see it? This is a false prophecy. This is a prophecy Muhammad he said 1400 years ago. Any Muslim can explain? Hey, by the way, guys, don't forget to, um, to unsubscribe if you are watching my video first time. If you are not watching my video first time, subscribe. Because this is how we do it. You know, we subscribe, we unsubscribe. You know, it's uh, because according to the Quran and the Hadith, I get more blessing if you do bad deeds and good deeds. So you do unsubscribe for me, you do bad deeds to me. Then you do subscribe again. That is a good deed. And the Prophet, he said that the bad deed will delete the, 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 the good deed will delete the bad deeds. I love it. Elaborate about what? What do you mean you did not get my way? Muhammad, he predicted that the judgment day is in like an hour from now will be almost there. And this is, he said something 1400 years ago. It's a false prophecy. What are you talking about, my friend? Read it. You see, we don't do what the Muslims, they do. The Muslims, they quote a verse from the Bible and they try to explain it to, the, to us as they wish. I don't do that. Anything I have here, I show you what you Muslims believe. And when I say the Muslims, I don't mean those guys in YouTube, the potato, tomato, who have no idea what they are talking about. I mean your scholars. The Christian Prince logic is funny. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You see, guys, did I tell you, did I say before, any Muslim, he will say something, anything to insult me, he will be sorry. Okay, hold on. Look what this guy, he said. You ask for it. I mean, what I can do? What I can do? This is your business. Any three words you say to me, I'm giving you a story from your Quran or the Hadith. Mr. Nature, he said, the Christian logic is funny. If you kiss your girlfriend, do you worship her? <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, if somebody kisses his girlfriend, she is a girl and he is a guy. You kiss a black stone, why? Now, as long as we are talking about kissing, is kissing haram in Islam or forbidden for a girlfriend? Hmm? 
Hmm? Suppose you are being smart. Why Muslims kiss a black stone? Don't you kiss a black the, the black stone? I mean, don't you kiss your girlfriend? Okay, your girlfriend is the black stone. Do you Muslims have sexual relationship with the black stones too? Hold on, the black stone is a vagina, yes. The black stone, the origin of the black stone is a vagina. This is why if we go right now and we look at the black stone in the Kaaba image, you will see it is in the shape of a vagina. No, kissing kissing women in Islam is not haram. Who said so? Who said so? You can touch them. You can you can play with their private part. This is in the Quran. It's called Al-Lamam. Al-Lamam. This is nothing in Islam. It's not even adultery. وَالَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِبُونَ كَبَائِرَ الْإِثْمِ وَالْفَوَاحِشَ إِلَّا اللَّمَمْ what is that? Chapter 53, verse number 32. It's about a guy, his name is Nabhanu Tamar. Nabhanu Tamar, he brought a woman, she is married to his, 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 his store. She came to his store, she said to him, Hey, Nabhan, do you have some zucchini, palm tree fruits? He said, yes, but if you go inside, I can show you more. And the guy, he invited her in, and she obviously she's a whore too, so she get in. And then he came to the prophet, he said, prophet, a woman she came to me and she was married and I did with her everything the man he do except intercourse everything what you know, everything except intercourse the prophet gave him this verse he said don't worry don't worry be happy this is a lemon my friend a lemon if you don't believe me I can show it to you from the interpretation, my friend. I mean, uh, why Muslims? Why Muslims? They do that to me. Why? Why you bring? Why you bring this to yourself? I mean, come on. Okay. Al Lamam. Let us see Al Lamam story. Uh, what is that? Why? Why is going there? Hello. Oh. We lost connection with this guy. Now, Muslims, why you do that? <clears throat> it's 32. Look like we have a uh, grass cutting now. I hope the sound is not coming to your side. Is it noisy, guys? Is the sound coming loud? I hope not. Okay. Uh, you see here, they are not even saying anything actually. Uh, but I can show you uh, the story about a lemon. Hmm. About Nabhanu Tamar. Illa al -lamam. All right. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of, jo of, of Saudi Arabia. And here is the story of Nabhanu Tamar. I challenge any Muslim to say this is a lie. In this ayah, nazulat fi rajul kana yusamma Nabhanu Tamar. وكان له حانوت يبيع فيه تمرة فجاءته امرأة تشتري منه تمرة فقال لها دا إن داخل الدكان ما هو خير من هذا فلما دخلت راودها فأبت وانصرفت then راودها which means he want to have sex with her but she agree with him with some stuff Let, let's see what he did he came to Muhammad he said فأتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وقال يا رسول الله ما من شيء يصنعه الرجل إلا قد وقد فعلته إلا الجماع فقال لعل زوجها غاز فنزلت هذه الآية The man he said there is nothing I did not do 
or nothing. I did not like a, a practice with this woman except intercourse. There's a guy he's uh, saying to me, "You are a coward." I mean, why I'm a coward, my friend? I blocked you. Why I blocked you? Call me. Call me. Okay. This guy is, is this guy is saying to me, "You are a coward." Let us see who is the coward. If you if you talk to me live, uh, here we go. He's not accepting the phone call. You see, they call me coward. They text me in Skype, and then I call them. They don't want to answer. Who is the coward? Let me call you again. Maybe maybe Allah is not, uh, you know. Okay. Here we go. He, he's rejecting the call. Who is the coward, Abdul? What a potato. I don't to turn to skin, I learned to keep it in, I So the guy he did everything with the women except sexual intercourse, and the prophet gave him a verse says, Don't worry, be happy. This is called a lemma. But the woman she is married, and even the prophet said, Maybe her husband is doing jihad. Look at the woman. Her husband is doing jihad, and the prophet is giving a fatwa saying it's okay. It's halal. Allah forgive those things. Those are small things. <laughs> this is nothing to worry about it. Did the prophet made a punishment for this guy who is touching the private part of the women? It says there in front of you in Arabic, he did with her everything the man do. Everything except intercourse and you know what everything mean I don't need to give you details but we cannot surprise about this guy even Muhammad he made married women in case of divorce it is he forced them to go and sleep with the new husband and he have to taste their juice and they have to taste the other guy's juice before they can return to the previous husband Who is a Muslim want to debate me and get a, a get a, a book a book uh, as a gift? You pay only for shipping and handling. Any Muslim want to have a, a a book for as a gift? I will give you any of my books of your choice as a gift. You pay only for shipping and handling. Any Muslim want to do that? You choose anyone. The deception of Allah, because you will be so proud about those books. Your kids will love it. Science and the Quran. I mean, amazing. Even in French, if you speak French, Le Secret to Prophet Arab, unbelievable. The German books, I have two of them. Just, just call me. Science and Islam. I mean, what this what those Muslims are talking about? What those Muslims are talking about? And look, we are here for how long? Two hours, exactly two hours almost. And not even a single Muslim, he decided to call me to show me one of those claimed to be miracles in the Quran. Why? Because they knew it's a fabrication. They knew it's, a, it's, it's false. Where is the science and where is those who make articles? And each time we challenge a Muslim, he claimed to be a person who have knowledge, like those guys who have a very famous names. Go and see what happened to this guy from uh, the Titan TV. Go and watch his video. He said he invited everybody to debate me. Everybody. That, uh, what his name? I don't know. I forgot their names. Uh, they have, like, supposedly big names in the internet, you know? So every one of them, Doctor, what his name? Doctor. Uh, Dr. Adnan Rashid, every one of them, he creep in his belly and he says, not me. And then he got me five Muslims calling me live, all of them together, to debate me live. Go and watch the debate and see how, how funny it is. Five Muslims, 10 Muslims, 1,000 Muslims, still you cannot answer me. One million Muslims, you cannot answer me. For a very simple reason. Not because I'm smart and you are stupid, because Islam is a stupid. This is the true reason. It's not your fault. I saw somebody making comment about my book, Sex and Allah, and saying Christian Prince, 
is is basing his knowledge on what the prophet said not what Allah said I mean have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this more than this so he just admitted that he's a prophet is a perverted man and his God is the good guy so the prophet is a bad guy the the, the, the prophet who brought the Quran and Islam to him is a bad guy Allah is the good guy no my friend my book six and Allah is based on the Quran and the hadith of Muhammad not on the hadith only but I'm sure you never read my book anyway this is this, this is how the Muslims they review my books always they review it before they buy it because they are very smart they don't need to read anything all of us we, all of us we are in the Middle East when we buy something we don't even open the manual like a guy he buy let us say a toy for his son huh you don't open the manual he start putting things together and then he finds suddenly that the steering of the of the car is in the back and everything is going wrong and he find like he have 50 screws are, are, are extra they don't read even they are proud that their prophet is illiterate and yet they want to tell us that their book is a book of science where is the science who want to tell me about science I'm, I'm here for it thousands and thousands of videos speaking of science in the Quran not even one of them is genuine and this is why not even one Muslim he dared to call us and tell us one of it just one of your choice Do we have any proud Muslim? Any proud Muslim? Okay, any any proud Muslim? As long as we don't have any proud Muslim, so we let us search for other options. You know, this guy Nature is the most funny because he reminds me of something. His name is Nature, right? He reminds me of something. Do you know that the most important story Muhammad you receive, an important verse Muhammad you receive, he received it during the call of nature. The Muslim they recite the chapter of Al-Fatiha five times a day. Five times a day. This guy, his name is nature, huh? Okay. Even your name is going to cost you. If we go to the chapter of Al-Fatiha, you will see that your prophet, each time he get out to do poo, -poo uh, you know, the angel appeared to him, or he didn't appear, he speak, he hear his voice. He said to him, Muhammad. And, and the Prophet, what he do? He flee and his panty between his legs. Have you ever heard of a prophet and the prophecy like this before? Read with me carefully. The messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace. Whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard it, he used to flee. Like, what the heck? I hate this. I hate this. I wait for delivery for UBS or to pick up something. And you know, those guys, they don't, they don't, they don't even ring the bell. I have a sign that says ring the bell. They don't, nobody ring it. I wait for five hours, six hours, seven hours. Nobody come. The second I go to the bathroom, he come. This is exactly what happened with the prophet. Peace upon him. Not fair. Now the prophet is doing boo-boo. And now Allah, now Allah decided to send Jibreel. And what Jibreel do? Muhammad, like what the heck? And what Muhammad do? He flee. <laughs> what is that? Is that, a, is that a cartoon, Charlie Chaplin? And why the prophet, he flee? This is the chapter of An-Najm. Muhammad already, he received half of the Quran. Why Muhammad is fleeing? Is it the first time he hear a voice of an angel? Any Muslim can tell me why he flee? Yeah, magically I bring stories. You see, this is why the Muslim they don't debate me because it doesn't matter what they talk about. It doesn't matter where they, what they talk about. I hit. So a Muslim when he debate me, he cannot predict. You see, Muslim what they do? They go without saying names of any Christians debating Muslims, because I don't want to look like I'm putting those people down. No, uh, but 
let's say a guy his name is uh, uh, George, the Muslim debate. They watched few of his debate. They knew exactly what he was saying in the Kemen debate. With the Christian prince, you can't predict because you never. You might say something, and Christian prince he never spoke of. How many of you have my books? Ninety-five percent of things in my books I never spoke about it in my videos. Is that correct? Which means I have a lot more, more. I, I, you know, I, I speak about a topic because a Muslim here remind me of it. That's all. You open the topic, you knock at the door, you get the answer. That's as simple as that. It's like there is a, uh, like in this program, you like you have an, uh, uh, a space you push and the shelf will open. Just, just push the shelf. The library is here. You listen to me for maybe 20 years, maybe 30, maybe 40. Still, each time you listen to me, you will hear something new. Depend. You need to, uh, you need to, uh, like, wake up the memory. A lot of memory. So do we have any Abdul here when I wake up our memory? Hmm? Yeah, you know, the prophet, he said, drink camel urine and eat honey. You know, there's as long as the, the, the person there is showing me the muscles, this is reminding me of something very funny in the Quran. You see, you guys, you don't hit my memory. Don't do that. It's very dangerous. If you go in the Quran, Allah, he promised the Muslims a drink in the heaven. Anyone remember what the, what the drink is? Huh? Oh, hold on. Who remember what what the what the drink is? How in the world, God, He promised people ginger. A whiskey, a wine, mixed with zanjabil, uh, 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 ginger, and in the same time, Allah He promised non-Muslims to drink kafur. Anyone knows what kafur is? Who knows what kafur is? Inna al-abrar yashrabuna min kasin kana mizajha kafura. Muhammad here, he's making a mistake. This should be the drink for the kuffar. Because kafur is a drink will make your, supposedly your, you know. But in the time of Muhammad, they have a different understanding. They believe that the kafur is, if you drink it, will increase your sexual power, your sexual energy. So Muhammad, he promised them drinks. One have kafur and the other one have zanjabil. And this is in paradise. Uh, I will, let me see what the translation for kafur in English. I don't know what the translation for it. Uh, I don't know what equal word it is in, in English. Let us see. You see, there's no translation. This guy, he said kafur. I think he gave up. He could not find a translation for it. <laughs> Oh boy, let us see the other guy. A, uh, a cup, a mixture of which is come for. Suppose it's translation. Let me see if I can find you. What is the kafur? Hold on. Um. Kafur. I don't think uh, Google can find us. Oh, well, maybe this is the translation in English. Camphor. Camphor? Is that correct, guys? If there is something that's camphor? I'm not sure okay, if this is the word. Yeah, I look like it. Yeah. 
Uh, let us see, hold on. Read carefully with me. This is supposedly what articles they say. Camphor has a hormone, etc., help increasing of sex drive. This is what they say. However, you know, I check and I found that there's no really uh, any uh, uh, solid uh, truth about this, you know. But they say that this is. Uh, will increase your sexual uh, power. So here what Muhammad is saying to them, and this is spread all over in the Middle East, uh, that Allah will give you a drink mixed with the kafur, which is going to make your private part go crazy. So you will not be suffering from, you know, unable, because, okay, I'm going to provide you a lot of women for sex. So now how you can do it? The answer is in the drink you will drink. I will give you a kafur. I will give you a zanjabil. And both of them, they will make you, uh, you know, go crazy, as you see. Uh, the ginger, the ginger have not, uh, no sexual uh, effect. The ginger, because simply, uh, the Arab, they, they like the kafur because of sex, as they claim. And the zanjabil or ginger, the Arab they like it as a drink because this is the at that time it was their tea. It's like their let us say maybe the only drink additional to wine. So now Muhammad he knew that they like wine and they like ginger. So what we will do now? We will promise them that you will have both ginger and wine. So you will not miss it. If you in my heaven, if you I promise you, if you believe in my religion. You will not be out of ginger. So I promise you that you will have your wine mixed with ginger. All right? Because this is what they, they, they mix with their, uh, their, their wine with it at the time of Muhammad. You see it? What do you mean who claim? Okay, you tell me why Allah promising you the kafur. Guys, you Muslims tell me why Allah promising you the kafur. What the kafur for? Is that something you eat normally? Why from all the things in the world, he promised you two things, zanjabil and kafur. Kafur for the sex, zanjabil because the Arab, it's their tradition to mix it with the, with the alcohol. Right? And what kind of God he is is going to import zanjabil from here ginger and try to mix ginger with with wine? Let us see how it tastes. The ginger doesn't taste really good. I mean, you can put it with food. It's it's healthy. It's good. But uh, with with wine, try. Go go try, and try try to mix uh, uh, kafur too with wine because both they will be mixed with wine. Any Abdul? No, nothing wrong. Ginger is a, a you see, all there's tons of roots in the ground. They grow, they are very good, very healthy, very good for your body. No, this is not the point. Ginger is exist before Islam and after Islam, and Islam have nothing to do with those things. But here you will notice how silly this God is. We are talking about God. This God is describing to me. What he will mix in my cocktail? Don't you find it silly? I mean, supposedly, nobody knows what is in heaven, how amazing it is. But now he is going in details to the point he tell me what he will mix with my drink. 
And what he will do, he will mix ginger with it. Well, thank you very much. Allah never heard of vodka, never heard of beer. He never heard of, uh, I mean, there is many, many, you know, me as a person, I, I have no expert in drinks. So like sometime I go in the airplane, they ask me what I like to drink. Beer, you know, I know, I know two kinds. I learned, I used to know uh, Hineken and then I le learned the uh, other one, it's called Corona. So for many years, anytime they come to me, they ask me what I like to drink. I say Hineken because this is the only drink I know. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't drink. You know, like I drink maybe once every uh, maybe six months, sometime a year. Like you know, wine maybe in winter time a little bit. I don't drink. Uh, you know, if you go and uh, go in the industry of alcohol, there is millions of kinds of drinks. So why Allah is promising the Muslims only wine? And ginger because this is the only drink he knew like Christian Prince Christian Prince he knew Hennekin so if Muhammad was a Christian Prince and had, at that his, his, at that time he will say I promise you Hennekin mixed with ginger you know what I mean From all the fruits Allah He promised Muhammad, He will not find a strange fruit. Like why Allah did not mention the coconut? He never heard of it. Yes, He never heard of it. Allah He swear by the fig. Speaking about the grape. Okay. You know, actually I found, uh, I found once in one translation they are saying the word banana. Hmm. Any Abdul? Anyway, guys, we are already uh, uh, we passed the two hours and maybe twenty minutes. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope we did good today, and we explained to you some of the fabrication of the science of the Quran. We did not cover uh, like everything, but you know, I mean, the point is to show you how stupid what they claim about science. Islam not only far away from science. Islam is a religion of stupidity. It is the religion of stupidity. It's a clear sign that you are stupid. If in the year 2018, after all what God gave you of opportunity, you believe in Islam. And when I say about opportunity, it's about the ability to learn. You know, when I was... Uh, 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 at the age of 20, we don't have a computer. We don't have internet. We go and search. And, you know, I, have to, I used to walk to the library when I was a kid, you know, uh, 40 minute walking just to go to the library. And when I go there, there is a section for kids, which full of cartoon books, which I hate, and section for adults. So what I do, I used to walk with an adult man who is getting to get in and I act as if I'm his, his son, you know, like I walk next to him because there's a, there's like a security guy in the front of the door of the library. He will not let you enter into the adult section unless you are with somebody. So I work with the guy acting as, I, as if I am with him. And then wherever this guy, he goes, sit in the table, I sit next to him. And this guy, he look at me like, what is, why this kid is following me? You know. <laughs> and then whatever book in the table, I grab. Because I cannot go to ask for a book. People finish reading books, they leave them in the table. This is how I was reading. You can imagine how much that is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a stress in a child to go because I want to read, I want to learn. This is was what I do. I hold the book and I keep reading, 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 reading until like the library will, will close and then they, they, they kick me out. And then after a while, the, the security did not, they learned that this kid is just, uh, <laughs> is not coming with anyone. Because sometimes the guy who is coming with me, supposedly he leave and I'm staying there. And then they notice I'm leaving by myself. So look how easy today it is for you to earn knowledge. You have people like me coming to you to explain to you what I learned in years, in five minutes. How in the world you can accept such a cult, stupid cult, to be as a religion for you? If you do, 
I assure you, you have a mental issue. God is not a pimp who provide vagina. That is an insult to someone you call him God. That is a pimp in Las Vegas. God will not promise me a magazine full of pictures of men and women, and then I flip the pages and I, whatever page I like, I get in and I have sex with it. That is a porn movie, fiction movie. It's not even true. God is not an open buffet provider for Zinjabil, Kafur, Ginger, and Chicken. This is not what God is about. If this is what heaven is about, so what, 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 what the whole world is about? This is madness. What Islam make of heaven is a place for sex and food. So I'm going to go to heaven to spread my eternity, having sex, eating food. I mean, this is the most boring thing ever. What about watching a movie? Huh? What about we do hiking? What about we go and... No, no. The women will be restrained in their tents. Tents. And you will be restrained with them forever. And every Friday, Allah invites you for a party. And there's a three singers will sing. Muhammad, David, and Muhammad and Allah. Every Friday for eternity. And they will sing the same song. And at the end of the songs, they, Allah will ask you, have you ever heard better than this? It's the same song we, lo we heard last Friday. It's the same song we, we heard 2,000 years ago because we will stay there for eternity. The same question, the same song, the same Friday, repeated over and over. What kind of religion this religion is? Every Friday for eternity, the same song, the same singers. And at the end of the prize, Allah, he win the prize. David, he sing. Muhammad, he sing. Allah is saying, and then who is the winner? Allah is number one, Muhammad is number two, and David is number three. Imagine you have the same show every Friday for eternity. And let us, for the sake of argument, say that those three, they have the most beautiful voice, but they are singing the same song every Friday for eternity. This is what God promised. This is the most stupid heaven ever. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And those who like to support us in our mission, please don't forget your support is needed always. I don't mention it much, but those who like to support, please feel free to support us. Next month I have a trip and if you support what we do and you know uh, support uh, my travel cost will be a very good of you to do if you like to help now if you don't like to help thank you very much too and uh, you know uh, uh, what we do is very important many people they are they change their mind about this cult children's youth they watch our videos and if you cannot support us in making donation you can support us in other way you can cut my videos, make them pieces, and post them all over. We spoke today about many topics. It covered many things. You can cut this two hours and a half video into small sections based on the topic, and you can post it again in YouTube. And don't worry. You see, for me, I don't really, I don't do what people do. Like if you... Uh, repost my video I get upset I encourage you to do so because the purpose of what I do is not me getting more subscribers it is you and your family and your neighbor and your community and your society being saved from the lies of this cult the purpose is not me I don't care if I have a million subscriber or one person subscribe to me I will be happy actually I saw some people who have a lot more subscribers from my channels Yet they are using only my videos. I'm happy for them. God bless them. They are doing a great job. Because the purpose is, as we said, is to save as many as we can from such a cult. This is a very dangerous cult. It's a violence cult. It's not just a stupid teaching. It's not like Jehovah's Witnesses who say stupid things. It's not the Mormon. This is a religion believe in killing 
and slaughtering and stoning and cutting hands and cutting heads this is a religion who will mute every one of us for speaking our mind so this is something you cannot say it doesn't matter for me I don't care if Islam take over your country you will not be able to swim the way you used to be swimming your wife she cannot wear the clothes she used to wear the food you eat they will decide to you what to eat what not to eat the music you hear you will not hear it no more your life will change everything this is a dictatorship religion if you speak your mind for a second you will disappear this is a cult made by a fascist God either you agree with me or I'm going to kill you I am a Christian but I'm not going to go after you if you insult Jesus I'm not going to kill you for you saying Jesus was not God or even you say whatever you want and I don't want anyone to mute anyone who don't believe in Jesus let people speak their mind if you believe in God then let God do justice if you believe that there is day of judgment then leave judgment to God if you believe that God he would do punishment why I need to punish you for what God supposed to do that is not my job in Islam a Muslim he take the position position of, of, of God he is God he start deciding who is going to die who is going to live he is the one who will decide if you deserve death or life every one of them play God and this is one of the danger things about Islam and their prophet is the best example of violence and criminal act if you don't believe me just go and read thank you very much uh, We, I have many channels, my friend. There's many channels. We keep creating channels because uh, many reasons. But it doesn't matter. Subscribe to my Patreon. You see patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Subscribe there and you will be uh, uh, you will be informed always which one is the one I do live podcasting. We have minds.com. We have uh, patreon.com. Those are my account there, as you see in the screen. Let me show you the the other ones. Uh, please subscribe here because we post. Always you will be updated. This is my account in minds.com slash Christian Prince. This is my Twitter. And this is my Facebook. And the same time we have battery on which is the one we use for donation so subscribe to all of them because when I do go live right away uh, battery on will send a message that Christian Prince is going live so you will be notified in your email all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again maybe tomorrow if I can if not maybe the day after until I see you again may the Lord bless you all and save us from all the evil in this earth for it is full of evil and if you don't believe that evil is exist just get out of your door or turn on your tv and listen to the news evil is exist it is real and islam is very evil christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again